Boy, these iRacing iFlag cars are fast tonight. You know, Todd, I guarantee you, Brown, Leonardi, Weaver, Capert, and Pena are all using their products on their sponsor tonight to give them the upper hand over the competition. Well, how can I get fast like those guys? Well, that's easy, Todd. You gotta head over to iRacingiFlag.com. All right, welcome everyone to tonight's coverage of the Wild Horse Racing League coming your way from Talladega Super Speedway this evening. Again, we'll be racing here at Talladega, the first round of eight for these guys here tonight. It should be a great race. Eight drivers coming in tonight with a shot at a championship. We'll go over those eight here in just a moment. But before we do that, let's get your starting lineup ready to go here in just one moment. And let me get rid of this mic quick. So hang on just one second. Alright, as we get ready to go, keep in mind also, coming up later on tonight, part of the doubleheader, we got the NWR8 Street Stock Series season opener, but first and foremost, we got to get things done here at Talladega Super Speedway, and on the front row, one of your eight there, Mr. Cranton Sneed, alongside Mr. Harry, and the eight, now the eight machine of Trenton, Trenton grabbing the Hole here this evening. Go down here and see if we can find old Trenton. Take a look at him at number. Oh, good gravy. Um, this is the first time I've seen the car. What kind of a bag? Oh, my goodness gracious. Alright, we're going to scroll through your starting lineup here. You see Harry starts second, Mark there third, Brandon Andrews fourth, fifth goes to Dalton, sixth Jacob, seventh Randy Connor Gibson, eighth, ninth goes to Adrian, tenth goes to Kirk, eleventh starting Samuel, and then also Samuel Samuel on that sixth row, Jeff Price there thirteenth, Marky Smith fourteenth, and starting fifteenth Adam Miller, sixteenth Andrew Beach. 17th Joshua Kane and 18th well us we accidentally entered as a driver but we're gonna get them rolling here while they're on this pace lap see if we can dial up that driver that number three slash eight slash whatever machine there we can grab old Trenton here before we go green Alright, let's 
to be in Discord. I don't see him in Discord, unfortunately. Trenton better get the win here tonight if he's going to run that machine. What a beautiful looking race car. That actually turns out really well. We're getting ready to go green. You see another one of your chase contenders there on the outside. In and Mr. Harry there in that 70 machine. Some great looking race cars out there tonight. We do get ready to go green flag racing. Let's get ready to send them racing here once again. And just getting ready to go here as they head towards three and four. <clears throat> again, it's going to be a pretty good race here tonight. You're going to have to keep your car nice and clean all night long. You see Jeff Pierce. For Jeff Price there, Trenton Sneed, Marcus Smith, Jacob in this eight, Samuel there, Harry, Joshua Kane, and Andrew Beach, your four con or eight contenders. Round of eight getting ready to go green. Pace car is off. And that red and black machine will lead them to green. And if he don't win this race at Talladega in that race car, um, I know some Dylan Hart Senior and Junior fans that may throw him out out of the racetrack by his head so I suggest to Trenton to win this race if he's gonna run that paint scheme here but we're gonna get ready to go green out of turn number four down the try over we are green for 85 laps that's how it is somebody will come up through the years early on in this one Harry there on the outside, you see Harry there also did a great job. Render issues with some of these cars. I don't know what the deal is. I've been seeing this on some of these paint schemes here for the last little bit. Down the back straightaway once again already up to speed. The 8 and the 12 on the inside row doing a great job right now working together. But it looks like the 70s of Harry's gonna get put maybe three wide, not gonna happen. He'll jump back up in the line. With the 42 as they're coming to end the lap number one. Great battle up at the front of the race, or up the front of the pack right now, the 12 right there as well. And they'll work their way through right around the yellow line and across the stripe. Looks like Harry's going to leave lap number one. Get Harry. Uh, they're driving the lead lap number one. We're going to continue on here. As we do, and we will continue here tonight. And printing up there as well. Look at this 42 machine. It is Mr. Brandon Andrews Jacob right there with that number two machine. Drew in a great job hanging on there as well. Again, he's facing Andrews right up near the front of the pack. Everybody in line right now. The 81 down there on the inside line as well. Doing a great job. Let's see when we go on board there with Mr. Randy there in that 81 machine. Working the inside of the racetrack as they run right now. You see on the roof cam right around the bottom. Going to pull the 12 through. Still early on here in this one. We'll get the kicker up in here in just a moment. And yeah, go now your kicker is up and running. And you see everybody doing a great job here early on. Three out of 85 in the books here already. These guys right around the inside of the racetrack as they run right now. Trenton still up front. We'll monitor his situation as they head through the fly over once again. They can look there at that 81. Oh, 
may continue to run right in line here. Try to get a number on him. Looks like that was Brandon in the 42. Heavy bit of damage on that machine. He'll have to use a faster pair. And we'll go back and take a look here. Oh man, no caution, but look at the contact here as he was on the apron. And the 12 just come down now, yellow flag on the racing surface as we speak right now. 
is we've got trouble on the back straight away. The 81 involved in this one, that's going to be Randy. Big bits of damage. It looks like we had a big one down the back straightaway, the 12 and the 70. Side by side up front, what happened here? Uh, 95 just hooked the 12 into the 70. That's a points contender hard into the wall. And that's going to be a first fast repair usage of the night for one of our points contenders as Harry there got caught up in it. Nothing he could do hard into the inside wall. Lap 11, first yellow of the evening. See the contact there putting the 70 hard into the inside wall. The 12 there getting caught up into it as well. The yellow flag is out. That's going to give Jacob the race lead. 11 out of 85 complete. The 42 of Brandon throwing up. 81 all kinds of damage Randy there in the, in the uh, 81 damage as well Harry with damage Andrew with a torn up race car Mark Arthur there in the 12 he's got quite a bit of damage as well on that driver's side and rear quarter panel so all these cars are going to have to head to pit road Take their first fast repair of the evening lap number 11. Rubble on the back straight away, hard into the inside wall for a couple of race cars. And it looks like the 12 will head to pit road here in a moment. 11 out of 85 in the books here tonight. Man, it, it's been a crazy one here already this evening. And as we get ready to go here, and you'll see them exit pit road, folks, we're going to take a quick commercial break, and we'll be right back with you in one moment.
All right, as we get ready to go back, green flag racing here. Once again, we'll get double file. Get ready for the restart. Again, everybody coming down pit road, taking four fresh tires and some fuel out front. Jacob there in the two machine. He will lead them to green on the restart here. Jacob, of course, in that number two U-Haul machine in the final eight here. Fighting for his playoff life here. 14 out of 85 complete here tonight at Talladega Super Speedway. That is 14 out of 85 in the books. We get ready to go green flag racing in that U-Haul machine. All lights are off on that I racing pace car when we do turn them green once again. Once again, we will be going back green to flag racing here pretty shortly as we come through three and four. Get ready to go double file one more time. Buddy down the front straight away. Here we go, green the flag, gonna go back in the air, green underway here. Wait on it, wait on it. Now green, we are running once again. Number two U-Haul machine out in front. Bring them back up to speed here down into turn number one. He'll be on the bottom. Joshua King's gonna fall in line there in the 28. Now he'll jump out of line trying to pick up a lap lead here. Looking for some help there on the outside. Look back no further. Here comes the eight. Up there on that top lane. Here comes a couple of more as well. Trying to populate that outside line. Now remember you've only got three fast pairs. You've already had one big incident back to lap 11. You want to take care of your race car the best you can here. Everybody working their way down the front straight away once again. Out front if you haul machine up Jacob. Well he's he's hauling trying to pull away here. Can't do it. Look like at 37 with his dirty there behind him. That's Connor Gibson in that Tide Pods machine. Might be by his old the road. He's got those Tide Pods. That might be the problem here. He's trying to fall in line there. Doesn't look like it's too smooth there in that 37. of 85 in the books here tonight 28 and 70 working the high side right now trying to pick up some momentum as they run at the moment the two still pushing that 48 41 now up to the road lead the two will fall behind great move there forward one through three and four you see that inside line trying to pull ahead and doing a great job right now with it now nearly three wide behind at this group of cars as they run right now. You drop back and take a look. It's going to be Joshua Kane back there in the 28, kind of stuck in the middle lane. It's going to be Harry right there giving him a push. Samuel's going to pull up to the middle lane as well, trying to pick up a spot. Samuel actually on the way to the high side. He's just going to let them go by. Maybe trying to hang on to the race car here a little bit longer before he gets up there racing. Again, we're coming up on 18 laps being complete here tonight. Again, 17 out of 85. Now one more car stuck to the middle lane. It's going to be a 37, and nobody wanting to work with him here. He's a little bit too unstable for these guys to really work with him. Oh, he tried to get in a spot, and there wasn't enough room. Luckily, he's seen it. The 10 almost got in the left rear quarter panel of that 37 side run. Just about turned him sideways, but they'll get it straightened back out down the back straightaway once again. Three wide up here at the front of the field. Look at Harry shoving on the back bumper of the 28. Now he'll have to break off. And the 28's going to have to decide where he's going to go. That's going to be Josh McCain jumping to the middle. Josh actually picking up the 37. Of Connor there. Connor's not really stable. He's not wanting to be where he's at, I can assure you right now. A couple of cars back to there a little bit weakly wobbly in the pack. And 
right now, that's the 28 on the outside of the racetrack, Josh McCain. Trying to fight his way back through a couple cars, blow up, walk, good driver, huh? Dropping below the yellow line there down the back straightaway. And look at him kind of darting all over the place, some aggressive dark moves. See the two up there on the outside of the racetrack, that's Jacob dropping back in one second. Yeah. Still a long way to go. And look at these guys darting around, man. You're going to have to be careful. You're about to wind what up a bunch of race cars. Jacob's going to drop back to the 37. Alongside that 28 machine, six lead changes already here tonight. apron Josh McCain dropping back to the 28 excuse me and meanwhile back up front that monster energy machine that number 41 still reading away Jacob doing work to play there on the outside lane 20 out of 85 complete here tonight again we had a double back there to lap number 11 put us under caution everybody come down got fuel and tires now in the Working their way back around the outside. There goes the 37 corner to the bottom. He's going to take over possibly the race lead. That's pushing the two clear. Connor's actually going to get the race lead. We got a car on the apron and a couple out of shape. And yellow flag in the air. Connor's going to be your leader. In big trouble. That's the 18 on his lid. You see the 28 working his way through there. Samuel there in the 53. Caught up involved, and this is the second wreck for Randy there in the 81. So, this should be his second fast repair of the evening. You know, back out here early on, lap number 21. We've seen it kind of go wrong here. We'll take a look. There's a bump going wrong from the 69, and here we go. Nothing the 81 could really do about it. Up and over, hard impact, back on his wheels. Folks, we're going to ride along here in just one moment with him. And if you're motion sickness, I am sorry about that. Well, crap, maybe we won't. Let's see here. On board with the 8 here, at, or the 81, as they come into turn number 1 where this accident occurred on the roof cam and you'll see him just get the bump get turned sideways in just a moment a little bit of check up and then there it is there's the bump out of shape and up and over on oh. and back on its wheels into the gravel into the asphalt want a ride there 4081 machine and yellow is back out well there you have it 22 complete we're back under caution once again Connor out front gonna lead them down pit road here and let's see Corner back on pit road and we've had one nine different leaders already here tonight still pretty early on 22 laps in the books we'll see if we can grab someone to chat with here in just a moment Hey, Jacob, it's Matt up in the booth. You got a copy on me, bud? I do. Well, so far, it's been an interesting one out there, bud. 
Yeah, it really has. Um, especially with the with some of the wrecks that have happened just in front of me. Well, what's it going to take to keep that number two machine pretty clean here the rest of the evening? Well, I mean, you just gotta wa you just gotta watch for what's happening up ahead of you. See whether people are swerving or anything like that that might cause a wreck. You just gotta keep your eyes open for anything that might happen here. Well, 10-4, buddy. Well, best of luck to you going forward. I know long cautions here, long caution laps. How does that affect you in a race car there, having to ride around here for a good five minutes under yellow? Yeah, I mean, it's just pretty boring, but it does allow you a chance to save fuel, though, so that is good. Alrighty, man. Well, best of luck to you going forward, buddy. Thank you. Alright, as we continue along here, 23 of the 85 laps in the books here so far. way to put it there for a while in the draft we'll see if when they get back going actually Connor in second behind the 41 when we get back going how is that going to affect the 37 will these guys want to work with him as we're almost 25 complete here if we get ready to go once again As a 37-41 nose to tail here for the restart. And it will be 25 of 85 complete when we get back going. Well, should be getting back going here next time. Bye. Andrew B. Jerry, the fastest lap time so far in 49 flat, back on lap 18. And we will see how this shakes out. A couple of cars already using two fast repairs early on. done here with this yellow flag period twenty four out of eighty five in the books here tonight light still on the i racing pace car and we will get ready to go back green at flag racing here in a moment The lights are off indeed on the pace car. <sighs> we get ready to go back double file here, twenty five out of eighty five in the books. And 
we will see this green flag wave once again here in just a moment. Again, 25 out of 85 is in the books here. We'll be halfway before you know it here. Lap 42 halfway. Here we go, getting ready to go back double green flag racing. And here we go. 26 going to be on the board this time by... Here we go, get ready to go green. A nice restart there, you see the 37 dropping back, everybody getting going pretty well here. Jacob there, right there with him in that number. Or two machine. You see now Jacob big shove to the outside lane. Got Samuel right there on the back bumper making it work. And indeed they'll kind of pull ahead just a little bit. 27 on the board. Inside the line, fighting back on them. 
again, this is gonna be 30 out of 85 in the book through the month. And halfway line number 42. We continue to work around here. Get you right there with the two trying to make that outside lane work. You can't do it just yet, don't know. Able to pull back away, you see eight of Trenton back there as well. Kind of stuck back there in traffic. Side by side, 31 out of 85 complete here tonight. both lanes and you know it doesn't look like either lane is getting the momentum forty-one now will break out as Dalton breaking the head so in one second. Right or er, Samuel third now the two machine able to kinda get back right in behind Dalton those two forward, you got the 10 right there as well. Everybody kind of settled down on the first couple of yellows. Early on in this, 32 out of 85 in the book. And they did a great job here, Marquis Smith. Working his way up into the third or third division right now. fighting their way through on the bottom of the race track. guys are just gonna kind of take their time let these laps kind of down Samuel or Dalton and uh, Jacob working together. Of course, Marquis Smith down there on the bottom as well. Continue on here, 
36 laps in the book. Thirty-seven and two. Hunter and Jacob nearly get together. They keep it straight right now. You see three wide deeper in the pack. Nearly some contact there from Connor. Connor having to get back in the line. Does a great job getting back in the line. Keeping it straight here. 40 going to go on the board this time by. Somebody doing a great job here so far. This is going to be 39 laps in the board. Working their way through here. You see the eight up there as well. Leading that outside lane now as they head down to turn number four. Down the tri oval. See Dalton out in front with the lead. In that 41 machine doing a great job. Trenton. Mr. Sneed there on the outside. Big push coming to the outside lane. Again, a few laps before halfway here. Again, just a few laps before halfway, and we continue along right now. Nice and easy does it. Well, right now, 40 out of 85 in the books here tonight. again down the back straight away they'll go three wide up front the there goes to the outside with the 
eight and ten on the bottom. Now it's going to be completely three wide up the front of the back. A little bit of contact there, but they'll keep it straight. That was the 10 and 41 making car contact to Marquise. And the 41 machine there. Dalton made contact, but everybody keeps it straight. Three wide down the front straightaway once again. Halfway now on the board in this one. But you gotta be careful if you work your way back to two wide here. It's a little bit more dangerous when you're stacked up the way these guys are. You're 21 laps into the run. Expect to see them coming to pit road here. I'm saying the next oh, 10 or so laps. We'll start green the flag. Pit stops. 43 on the board this time by. Still a long way to go here. It's going to be 44 laps coming right up. Forty-four to 85 complete here so far. I 
am one of the eight contenders for the championship here. Side in the 14 to take over the lead, working with the 8 up there. Those two are going to make break clear with help with the 88. Junior, senior, and junior paint schemes all in that little wallet here. You can go along here at the Mason Wide Machine right behind them. the 88 of Andrew Beach. We yeah, haven't heard much from Andrew. We got some cars in the pit road here. 50 being one of them and the 41, everybody hard on the brakes. Get low down doing a good job. Nice job coming to a stop here. 27. And these guys should come in next time. Bye. And if we do the math here, if we do the math here, 51. number 51 and they're not going to make it all the way on fuel it's going to be a few laps short just a few but nevertheless short on fuel here till the end 269 hitting his box good stop there for him the eight machine right now scored as your race leader Andrew Beach on pit road as well. Mark out here, he's gonna lead the pack, coming back up to speed. Working together here. We'll see how this works out for them down the front straight away. And this pack will overcome the pack that's coming off of pit road. Led by Jeff. Andrew Beach there, here comes Mark though with a ton of speed. They will overtake that pack as they look their way through. See the 12, big push here from the 41. And they are absolutely gobbling up this pack that's coming on the road. Jeff up here all by him, by his lonesome. See Mark up there doing a great job up the second. They're going to continue working together here on the high side of the racetrack. 53 and the 41, the monster energy cars working together there as well. 52 laps complete. Now the old next car they'll get to is the race leader. You see Jeff right here. Right up there all by himself in the 14 machine. This pack will get to him and kind of gobble him up as well. He's going to run the outside of the racetrack, just kind of just wherever he wants to run. Because here comes this pack of cars around the bottom, working together here. The well, hopping up, trying to get a pull out back. It may work out for him. He can get back down on the 41 here, and indeed he will. And out goes a mark to the race lead. Great job by Mark Arthur. Taking over the race lead here, 53 laps on the board. And again, this is part of it, the strategy of when you pit, putting yourself in great position. Now the 12 in our great spot with the 41 and 53. Samuel and Dalton working together behind them. These two 
Dude, you're really doing a great job coming up on lap number 55 here. I'm getting ready to be put on the board. And they will work together up at the front of the pack. 55 out of 85 going to be put on the board right here. Nice job. Now they'll continue right around the bottom of the race back to 41 and 53 still working together right behind them. We got about 30 laps to go here in this one. Board. 
41 to 53, still right there tied together. One lead changes so far on the evening. The out front Mark Arthur with the race lead right now. Eight laps 
they go with this time by. Stay right there with him. And indeed he will. And these guys are doing a great job. They've kept it really clean all night. 19 to go here. And right now that 41 machine leading the pack. He's got a challenge now for the 69 of Mills getting a big shove from Mr. Henry there on the outside. You see working together the 70 and 69 machines. But we should be coming up on green flag stops with about nine laps to go here. Will be our next round of stops. this time by and look at the 12 they're kind of getting squeezed out there for a second having to jump back in the line behind all the 15 laps to go we're kind of at the point in the race where we're kind of just waiting on the end of the uh, end of this run to get to the fuel stop to see where it all shakes out. You don't want to get busted on speeding or slide the car into your box or slide your car through the box, anything like that.
14 on lap to start going. Oh, trouble right behind on the 53 getting turned around. That's going to bring out the yellow. Samuel just got hooked. That brings the yellow out. That means we're going to have late race pit stops under caution and a late race restart. We can see right here. Samuel is worth. Samuel working the same one. He's going to hook him on that left or left or quarter panel. Turning that 53 car completely around. Everybody gonna pile up into the outside wall here, bringing out the yellow once again. Dalton with the race lead is gonna be a very important pit stop here. Now they'll hit pit road right now. Dalton out front, late race restart. No stopping his box here. Right now the 41 there, right behind the 12 machine of Mark. They will restart this race. One and two when we go back green flag racing. It'll be one and two when we do go back green once again. For these two, 12 laps to go. Again, you know, we got Dirt Street starts coming up later on tonight. With 11 laps to go here, folks. I'll be right back with you here in one moment.
Alright, folks, here we go. 10 lap shootout. Talladega Super Speedway coming your way right here in just one moment. As they work their way through, it's going to be a 10 lap showdown. And here we go, green is flying in the air. Look at the cloud, nice jump from him. Almost too good here. He's gonna pull away from the field. We're not even near the restart box. Now the green light comes back on. We have to wait and see what race control says about that. He'll get down in line here, nine laps to go. Nine lamps to go down the back straight away. Right now the 12 machine out front, the 70 up there as well. 41 kind of dies in back and forth. He's about to get put in the middle of the eight. Eight, Andrew Beach, look at him looking for a way through. Trying to pick up a win here to start out the round of eight. The 12 now jump down to cover the bottom line, three wide up front. This has got bad written all over it, folks. I sink double file down the back straight away. the bottom. Ooh, a little bit dicey up top. 95 coming through the middle. Contact. There it is. The whole field is going to be tangled up here on the front straight away. Seven laps to go. Contact. Cars go around. Imagine that. And we're back under caution once again. A yellow flag back out in the air. We're going to go back and take one more look at it. They all got tangled up here. Andrew Beach there sitting in second. They were all right there together. The 41 gets turned. Andrew goes in the grass. But he wrecks all the racetrack. The 70 caught up in it. The only one I see may have got through without damage is the two. A yellow flag back in the air. And yellow is out. Seven laps to go. Right now. But seven to go here. And we got cars heading to pit road, including the 12. We get ready to go again. Don't forget tonight, guys, this is not the end of racing action. Later on tonight, we got Dirt Street Stocks headed your way here. Six laps to go, though, at Talladega still left to end this one out.
we get ready to double back up once again. It'll be five laps to go this time by. to go at the strop right now the ten machine marky smith with your race lead and he will probably i tell you what it's gonna be four three laps to go for this restart marky sitting in a very good spot Four laps to go at the stripe here. Four to go this time by that I racing pace car is going to be up front. to go right now we're still under caution so this is going to be
Here we go, getting ready to turn them back loose once again. It's going to be a green, white, checkered finish. Marquis Smith sitting there with the race lead. As of now, when we get ready to go green flag racing, once again, three laps to go this time by. Here we go, getting ready to go green once again. Lights are off on the pace car. Three laps to go. to go this time by and green 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 three laps to go and we are green to go a couple of cars one car around deep in the pack no caution as of yet Marky Smith still out front big push coming from Samuel now can they make it back to the white flag this time Marquis out front Samuel right there as well now look at this Brandon Andrews back here in fourth in the 42 what's he going to do we got some movement at the front of the pack the 50 moves up now trying to pick up the outside lane can't do it He's going to tip the one car around. Yellow flag is out. We're all wrecking down the front straight away. Once again, they pile them up. Yellow flag is out. We'll have another attempt at it. Holy moly. Beach down there smoking pretty heavily. You see the contact here as they come through. What caused this mess here? You feel they're going to make contact right here. Half the field up the racetrack. More wrecking behind them. Cars up and over. That's the 81 going for a wild ride. Yellow flag back out in the air once again. Yellow back out. 
Marky Smith all torn up from the race lead. Man, oh man. Lights are back on the pace car, folks. I'll be right back with you here in one moment for a second attempt at a green and white checker.
Alrighty, folks. Here we go. Getting ready to go back green one more time here tonight. It's going to be another attempt at a green white checkered. You see a couple of damaged race cars there in the back. Here we go, coming to the green here. Three laps to go. Here we go, green flag going to be in the air. The eight machine will lead them down once again in that Budweiser slash good wrench. Three and eight green flag going to go in the air once again. Rock past pit road, greens in the air, green and white checkered. Let's see how we end this one off. Okay, uh, the yellow did not switch over, so I'm gonna have to do it. Uh, okay. So we are back green once again. Two laps to go. Can we make it back around? That will be the million dollar question here. There we go. And right now, a little bit of Dyson back in the pack. We continue along here. Coming to the white flag. Those two up front, man. Trenton Sneed and Mark Arthur have basically checked out on the rest of the field. They're wrecking behind them. Lots will come back on around the racetrack. And we'll slow them back down for a third attempt. So again, we're back under caution. Three laps to go. Another green white checkered. Mark Arthur and Harry, they had checked out until their wreck happened behind them. See Marcus Smith back here. Or Marquis Smith involved in that melee back there. You see everybody right there behind them. Marquis is just desperately trying to get caught up here and unfortunately getting tagged from behind. See, he goes to the bottom, he just clipped the car in front of him, triggering off this massive wreck behind him. That brought out the yellow once again. Well, we're going to get them gathered back up once again.
And right now, Mark Arthur, Hen Mark, Ar uh, Mark Arthur, and Mr. Henry Grandel and Trenton Sneed, your top three. It'll be a green white checkered attempt once again. The light's still on the pace car. Be a green and white checkered shootout when we get these cars back going one more time. Sneed right there in third. Harry second. Mark with the lead. Trenton, you got a ton of fans in chat. Right now, lights are on the pace car, so it should be extinguishing this time by. And we'll go at it one more time here. Again, the final green-white checkered attempt. Get ready to go green one more time here. Mark Arthur with the lead here. Lights are off on the pace car. Three laps to go. A green white checkered shootout one more time here. I finish this one off. Trenton Nation. Trenton Nation. Well, can Trenton come through with that 8 slash 3? We're just about getting ready to find out here. Well, I throw out on the pace car. 
to go here. Mark, Arthur, Henry, and Trenton Sneed, your top three. Here we go, get ready to go green here. Two laps to go. Ready, ready. Greens in the air, three laps to go. Big shove going to Henry to Mark Arthur, two to go now. Again, those two kind of checking out from the rest of the field. Trenton Sneed setting in third. He's going to need some help to get to that back bumper to help him run him back down. Out of turn number two, these two up front, they are gone. Trenton Sneed desperately needs help, and that's not going to help him as they go double file behind them. Trenton now. Trying to figure out a path to maybe catch up to the top two. He's right there with him, but he's going to need help to get to his, to get to his back bumper to help him try to run him down. But these two front two are on lock together. You got to watch overheating here. The 70 has been locked onto the back bumper of the 12 for at least a full lap here. White flag in the air one more time around. Trenton desperately looking for help here. He's to their back bumper. And you see, he's got help back there, but it's not going to be there in time, I don't think. Down off to the back straight away. They're going to make a move to the outside. The 76 has got Trenton with him. Harry and Trenton to the outside of the racetrack, and they're going to complete the pass. Now the 76 machine, easy does it. Trenton going to be stuck on the high side. He's got no help. He needs somebody to jump up there with him. Now he's got the help with him. The 70 with the race lead. Big shove behind him. Trenton's going to break out. Now he's going to have to come down and block three lanes of traffic. Trenton Sneed out front. Is he going to win it? He does. Holy cow. Trenton Sneed from third to first. Picking up the win here tonight. Congratulations. Checkered flag is out. Trenton Sneed somehow from third to the lead and grabs the win here tonight. Congratulations, Trenton. Well, if we can get a word with Mr. Tranton. Want a drive from Tranton Sneed to pick it up. Interviewed after that, I'll do a smoke show. Hey, Tranton, you got a copy on me? Yes, sir. Well, you pulled it off, my friend. That I did. Tell me what you were thinking there, coming down to it there. You didn't have any help with you for that entire first lap. Whereas you kind of worried that you wasn't going to have enough help to get to you. I I didn't think I was going to have any help. As soon as I saw Kurt coming, I was just thinking to myself, please, please. I know you like to take people three wide, but please come with me once in my life. And he actually did. Oh, I think we were three, four wide going to that trial. But as soon as I heard clear through the spotter, I just turned it all the way left and came home good out of it. Well, what an awesome job, dude, oh. hanging in there, grabbing the win. Congratulations on the win tonight, buddy. Thank you. 
Well, what does that do for you, Chase Hopes, my friend? Gives you a bunch of momentum for one. Uh, going into the round of six, we're, we're pretty good. But once the points reset again for round of four, we got to come out and perform like this again. I wanted to win here more than anything because Talladega is my home track. I made this freaking paint scheme specifically for this. That reminds me, Aunt Jamie, Ricky, Dad, who else did you say is watching? Everybody. Everybody, you know who you are. We did it. Didn't think we were. I accidentally bumped my teammate through trial, sent him in that big crash. Jeff, Jeff, I'm sorry. I just want to say to anyone from Turpentine Creek that's watching, I'm sorry. I didn't want to do that to him. I, I still feel bad about that. I'd like to thank uh, the two sponsors here, or more than two sponsors. We got a, uh, what is on the hood? Goodweiser. Some, uh, Goodweiser, uh, what's it called? Support beers. Yeah, that. Uh, service beers. Goodweiser service beers. I got. Uh, Bud Wrench on the back, like think Bright Futures Learning Center, Anor, Sneed Game Farm, Team Chevy, everyone at DEI. Thank Kirk, you, Kirk, thank you for pushing. I'm looking right in the art. Thank you, brother. I'll do some smoke show for you here in a sec. Thank you for broadcasting. Oh, oh roll tide. Roll tide. We'll go do some burnouts, buddy. 10-4. There you have it. Your winner here tonight, Mr. Trenton Sneed, coming home with the win. Congratulations, Trenton. Wait and see him go do some burnouts here. We're gonna grab second place here in just a moment. Woo! There we go. <laughs> Trent and Sneed coming home with your win here tonight, guys. And let's grab P2. Mr. Kurt coming through. Hey, Mr. Kirk, it's Matt up in the booth. You got a copy on me? Oh, hell yeah, I do. How you doing? Doing good, buddy. Coming home P2 here tonight, my friend. I, I, hold on, you cut out. What'd you say? You come home P2, you nearly got the win there. You got to the back bumper of the 8 machine. But I tell you I what, tell what a finish, buddy. Oh, oh yeah, I did. I enjoyed it. I didn't even expect it. I uh, tell you what, like, I mean, I was coming out of turn four, and I knew I had a good chance. Uh, but the thing is, I saw my friend Trenton Sneed up there, and I knew he was in the high side alone, so I thought... I mean, I, the only chance I have is either to wreck him or help him. So I decided to help him, and I ended up saving my butt, uh, getting me a top two finish. I just want to thank my sponsors, the color gray. I, I love that. Uh, definitely, they, they help out so much. And we, I just want to wish all the best to Trenton Snead, who won this race here today. All righty, man. Well, you did a great hi, job. Hi, Mom. Sorry, just saying hi to my mama. You're fine, buddy. All right. Well, congratulations, my friend. Man, Kirk did a great, oh, you did a great yeah. job, buddy. Oh, I'll tell you what, one, one more thing I want to mention, too, if you don't mind me saying there, Matt. I was I, on that uh, all day, throughout the day. Uh, I, I had three fast repairs until we got to the uh, overtime stuff, uh, where, uh, like, you know, uh, not overtime. I don't know what they call it now. I mean, uh, green-white checker, yeah. We'll that. go with overtime, uh, green-white checker. It's the same thing. And whatever, whatever they call it, I don't know. It's just weird. But we, I was coming down in that final big wreck that we had before this, uh, the one that worked. Uh, before the, uh, I guess, the one I, I got in. That was the only wreck I got in all day. I feel pretty good about that. Uh, go and check out the, the color gray. It's on every single Google image search. You'll find it. It's pretty cool. So that's all I have to say. A very unique sponsorship there you have, sir. We love the color gray. Color gray, I mean, you know, it, it's a good color. <laughs> it, I sounds it. Like, wait, it sounds like you're like trying to do a presidential bid here. I love it. I tell you, uh, this, this color definitely carries me from one place to another. It, it's so good. Color, color, gray. Gray, color gray 2020. Color gray. <laughs> <laughs> I love to see it. I, I love to see that. I mean, if we can get everybody in, in, in a race, I racing to go and vote for the color gray. And actually, no, don't do that. Vote, vote for Trump. But saying still, just for the <laughs> meme, go vote for the color gray. And for, for 2020 for vice president. Let's do that. Trump, color gray. There you go. There you know, the, the is. Group. My channel burst into flames. There it is. Well, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I, I don't know what the it is, but I mean, I'm on a racetrack driving backwards. So, I mean, I feel like I'm doing enough legal things. <laughs> oh, no. Color, color gray, Trump 2020. We'll see you next time. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks for the fun. All right. See you, buddy.
Oh. All right, let's grab Harry here. <laughs> hey, Harry, it's Matt up in the booth. You got a copy? Yeah, I've got you. I've got you, Matt. Mm. All righty, man. Coming home third here tonight. Yeah, so n nearly had the win there, but um, Snee was able to pull around the outside. Very, very, very well done to him. Congratulations on winning this race. That was no easy feat just to survive to the end. So, very well done to him for that. Ten four, buddy. Well, congratulations. I know it's late for you over there, so I'll let you get ready to head to bed, bud. Yeah, it's quarter past three in the morning. It's a bit. It's more early than late now, but. I, I don't mind racing with a good bunch of guys having fun. I don't mind at all. All righty, buddy. Well, have a great one the rest of the night, bud. Get you some rest, and congratulations on third. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, see you later, Henry. Yeah, see ya. All right, that's going to do it here from Talladega Super Speedway and the Wild Horse Racing League. Trent and Sneed gets the win here tonight. Folks, I've got to get out of here because we got to get over to Kokomo. We're going to go dirt street stock racing at the top of the hour. I will see you then. But congratulations to all the drivers here tonight, and we'll be back with you here in about 30 minutes.